Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. This is kind of like a two day, um, day in the life of, but it's actually two days in the life of. And so, without further ado, let me just kick right in and get you started on today and yesterday, or yeah, you know. All right, stay tuned. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. This is a look you don't see me in often. I didn't know how today's going to turn out. I didn't know if they'll be cooking today because we have some work to do at the farm. If you remember back a few videos, I showed you how we were putting out rock beside on the drip lines all the way down of every chicken house on both sides. So we got several sides done, but we've got to go finish it today. Uh, well, or at least make a good dent in finishing it. We're almost halfway through, and so we've, we're going to hit the ground running this morning. I don't know how much cooking will happen today. I don't know if any cooking will happen today because I'll be hot and tired when I come in. And so, I've laid out some shrimp and some broccoli and some cauliflower rice. Um, this is the cauliflower rice I've laid out. I think I'm going to add some heavy cream and Parmesan to it to make it like a risotto, like a real risotto. Um, I've got some shrimp. I thought I could make like garlic butter shrimp. Um, most of you know I'm, I'm doing, trying a low carb. I have stalled again on my weight loss, which I guess I'm at that weight or I'm at that point where that's going to be the norm that I just stall for a while. And... So, I'm going to, I'm trying, I'm going to give it a really good, hard two weeks of the low-carb stuff. So, tonight we're going to do some shrimp, and I'm going to do the cauliflower rice as risotto, and some broccoli and cheese. Good morning. I told them what we're doing, so I didn't know, I don't know how much cooking will get filmed, so we're starting a day oh, wow. out this morning. Oh, wow. because <laughs> no. Not if he works me hard today, it ain't going to happen a lot, I've so. What time, did you tell me what time it was? We're running late. It's 7.25. 7.25. I wanted to start at 7 this morning. We've each had three cups of coffee. Yep. That's all. We hadn't eaten anything. So, so oh, and did, the phone rings. Did he call us? So, okay, guys. Um, so, that's the plan. That's what I'm planning to cook for supper. I'll bring you along with us for the day. Um, I don't know how much filming I'll get to do because it's, I'm driving the tractor while they throw, put the rock in the, Bryant built the frame or the, what is what would I call it? Mold, it's not a mold because it moves, but um, that they pour the rock in and it just leaves it in this perfect line and it's great. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. I don't know how much filming will get done. I'll look like a hot mess when I come in and I start filming tonight's supper so y'all just have to bear with me the video may be late i'm sorry but we're gonna do the best we can i also have this fresh um squash that i may try to do a little something with they we had a lot more and um bryant and isaac did a stir fry yesterday so i may do a stir fry as well just to give us some you know plenty of options you're doing more low carb type thing that your fat content increases in your food. So if you're watching your fat, it may not be quite as healthy. Um, but I'm just cutting out carbs 
and therefore the fat content will increase a little bit. So there, therefore there's the broccoli and cheese <laughs> and um, the heavy cream and, and stuff in the risotto as well as um, the butter and the shrimp. So I'm going to do a butter garlic shrimp. Y'all, it's about in the upper 50s to 60 degrees outside, and, and it's a little chilly for me, but I didn't know it was that cold till I stepped outside, so I had to come back in and grab me a jacket. Isaac's dumping some dirt, and Bryant's trying to decide where he wants to get started at today. If you see the side of that chicken house, on past the fans, there is a line of rock, and that's what we're actually doing today. Um, this is paid for. Um, we get a grant from the USDA to get this done to help with erosion. So um, we got it. we have a certain time frame we have to get this done in, and so that's what we're doing. leveling out the ground and I'm just sitting here on this pile of rocks waiting for them to tell me what to do so yeah it's just a wait and see I'm fixing to have to lose the jacket though it was chilly when I came out but I'm fixing to have to lose the jacket Whew. yeah so anyway We'll be started in a little bit. They're already started. I'll be started in a little bit. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Saturday. It is, obviously, the video did not get completed yesterday. So, let me tell you a little bit about what happened yesterday. We put out rock all day long. All day long. And my neck is killing me because I drove the tractor and so I'm having to drive straight, but I also have to watch in the back. And so I was constantly, I was kind of turned sideways and my neck is killing me. Anyway, we worked all day long and Bryant said at the end of the day, he said, let's call some friends and let's go out to eat. Let's go, go get supper. So we went to eat with friends last night. It was wonderful. I was so thankful that I didn't have to come in and cook. And yes, what I ate was not on my diet, but that's okay. I did not <laughs> feel guilty at all. And um, it was wonderful. So today we gave, last night Isaac went and spent the night at a buddy's house, at Trevor's house. And then, um, so we gave him today off. So there's a little more, there's a few more areas that need rock. We're not done putting rock out. Um, but, so what we're doing is I'm on my way now to pick up a, a teenager from our church who's gonna help Bryant this morning do a little bit of work. And then I'm gonna get home and clean up the kitchen. And my brother has requested a banana pudding. So this is just kinda gonna be a two day, a couple of days in the life of. and. So that's what we're doing today. It is six. It is 7:47, and it is 66 degrees outside, or that's what my car says. Uh, uh, warm, warmer than yesterday. Yesterday it was in the upper 50s, and I had to get a jacket, but I soon lost the jacket, and um, got a little pink yesterday, which is good. I needed some sun, and it was good for me to to um, the the other day when I was out in the hay. For some reason, I got sun poison and I was I wasn't out there that long and um so I was like I've never had that before I've never gotten that before so I wanted to see today yesterday and and yesterday and I didn't even get sunburnt the day I worked in the hay it, I didn't even I mean I just got a little tan just a little color not even pink just a little bit of color I mean where you could tell where my shirt had been but um but I broke out everywhere. So this time I got pink and nothing, no sun poison or anything. So that was, that was a good sign. So anyway, I'm going to pick up this young man. We'll get back and 
we'll make uh, a banana pudding. I'm going to put off the funeral cake. <laughs> We're going to change the name of it, of uh, get together cake. Because <laughs> funeral cake just sounds so bad, but there is a, there's a story behind why it's called a funeral cake, and I love the story of why it's called a funeral cake. So, we won't change the name. We'll just keep calling it funeral cake. Uh, I think I'm going to hold that off till next week because I really want to dedicate a full video to that. And um, so I can tell the story and so forth. So, the next couple of days, you're going to get just days in the life of. Um, today, you're getting a Saturday video instead of last night since we didn't get a video uploaded yesterday. So, welcome aboard and welcome to Saturday. We'll be home shortly and get into whatever we're going to get into. Alright, so we are back home and I am ready to get this banana pudding made. My brother asked me for banana pudding. I want to get it made and out of the way because I really need to go to the grocery store. I need to, um, I need to pick up some, I'm out of my low carb things that are my go-tos. So I need to go by and pick that up. So I'm wanting to get this started and get it out of the way. So with that being said, I'm not going to give you the recipe in this video. You've seen me make it. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but there is a chance that I will forget. So if I forget to link that video down below, be sure to just search in the YouTube search or Google. It doesn't matter. You can search the farming pastor's wife banana pudding. And I have an easy way. It's from, homemade from scratch, but I make the pudding in the microwave. You don't have to do the double boiler. You don't have to do the baby sitting on the stove. It's done in the microwave. So I'm going to get started. So come on. I will say my meringue, I overbeat it just a little bit, so it kind of collapsed a little. <laughs> and But that's okay. It's still going to be good. It's not going to any fancy dinner or anything. My brother just wanted a, a banana pudding, and it's going to taste delicious. It's just not the prettiest meringue I've ever made. But I don't know. Did y'all see when I was cracking the eggs that one of my eggs was frozen? One of my eggs was was frozen. Like, and nothing else was. And the refrigerator set where it's always set. And I'm not sure how that happened, but one of my eggs was frozen. So anyway, okay, I'm going to call my brother and tell him he can come get his banana pudding. 
with the weeping and collapsed um, meringue. <laughs> but anyway, so, all right, on to the next thing. What shall we do now? Okay, so fixing my brother the banana pudding has got me wanting a dessert. Well, I picked this up at Walmart, and so I thought I might give it a try. And when I got to go to the grocery store today, and I thought I'd pick up some vanilla ice cream and some sugar-free chocolate syrup and drizzle the chocolate syrup over it and have a brownie sundae type thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven since my oven is warm and hot and see how they are. Well, I got my brownies in the oven and there's one thing I didn't do and I can't believe I didn't do it. I didn't taste the batter. I love brownie batter. And yes, I know there's raw eggs in there, but I don't care. And um, I didn't taste it. Bryant did, he came in and he actually tasted it twice. So it must have been pretty good for him. So, um, so now they're in the oven and I'm just waiting for them to come out. Uh, laundry is next on my list. Laundry. Last night I had laid out some shrimp and some stuff to make. So I, I think I'm going to make that tonight for supper since we went out to eat last night and, um, I didn't get to make it. So I just stuck it, put it up, got a bowl, stuck everything in a bowl and stuck it in the refrigerator. So I think that's what I'm going to make tonight but Bryant's wanting to go do something he's itching to go do something and I need to go to the grocery store and I don't know what we're gonna do so I'm just kind of in a him hawing around waiting um, to see what we're gonna do and waiting for my brother to come get this evil temptation out of my sight <laughs> this evil temptation called a banana pudding full sugar full fat full everything banana pudding so Anyway, he needs to come on. He needs to come on right now. <laughs> That's why my brownies are in the oven. I was going to tell you guys one more thing about the banana pudding. And I have ser mentioned several times that when I make a banana pudding, sometimes, occasionally, my bananas turn dark. And I realized, and I mentioned this on my last video, I realized that I get if I, if I get them completely covered in the custard, then it's fine. It doesn't turn black or brown or whatever. And one of you guys, one of my great sweet viewers had a suggestion. They said, why don't you mix your bananas in the pudding before you put it on instead of layering it? I was like, genius. Hello. Why haven't I thought of that? And so that's what I did today is I mixed all my bananas in with the pudding after, after I got the pudding thick. I mixed it all together and then put it on the cookies and then layered it, you know, cookies and then more pudding and bananas. So it was, um, that was such a great tip. And uh, I'm looking in my dish and what I can see underneath the meringue, nothing has turned or anything. So I thought I would pass that along because somebody gave that suggestion to me and I'm like, why didn't I think of that? That was I mean, that was a no-brainer. If I knew in my head, if I cover them with the custard, they won't turn. Why would I not just mix them in? So, anyway, in case you haven't thought of that, I thought I'd give that tip somebody gave to me. Might as well share our knowledge. That's what this channel is about. Sharing our knowledge, our mistakes, and so forth. So, all right. The brownies, uh, the timer went off. I didn't feel like they were quite done. I hope I'm not overcooking them. I put them back in for a few more minutes. So we'll see, they smell really, really good. They don't look, you know how a box brownie, it gets that shiny top on it and it kind of cracks a little bit and it's, oh. anyway, this does not have that. So, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I felt it needed a few more minutes and so I stuck them in there for a little bit longer. All right, Bryant just came in here and says, are you about done for the day? So he is dying to do something. I don't know what he's wanting to do, but he's wanting to do something. I don't know if I'm gonna to need to put makeup on and fix up. I don't know what today holds, but we'll see in a little bit. So here are the brownies. And I thought I'd give it, I really want it with ice cream and 
sugar-free chocolate syrup, but I'm going to give it a little taste just so I can tell you guys how it is. That's what it, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's what it looks like inside. So, let's try it. It's actually not bad. It's not quite as sweet. Let me try one more bite. It's just not quite as sweet as your normal brownies. Um, I'm not sure what they sweetened it with. Hang on, let me get the box and see. It's actually really good. I can definitely see that that would hit my sweet chocolate tooth <laughs> and so let me get the box and we'll see what it's sweetened with okay it looks like there's some allulose in here and um, stevia so that is sweetened with stevia so y'all that's actually I mean is it as good as your normal box brownies no But if you're definitely doing low carb and watching your weight, this is a pretty good option. Now, I'm not doing clean keto or anything like that. So I don't worry about some of the, you know, the ingredients that aren't necessarily clean. Um, but I think it'll do if, if you're, if you're, you know, okay with that kind of thing. It's actually really, really good. So it, this makes, this will make 12 servings. Um, and each serving is two carbs. So, I mean, that's a pretty good serving. All right. So there's my review on the uh, keto thing, on the keto Duncan Hines brownies. So I'll be picking up another one of these when I go to the grocery store. I don't know when that will be. I need it to be today, but Brian's, like I said, wanting to do something. So stay tuned to find out what we're going to do. Okay, so Brian's in the shower. I think he's trying to decide what he's wanting to do. He really wants to go to the beach, but it's a little late in the day for that. And tomorrow Sunday he preaches. So the beach is probably not the best option. He's just tired, y'all. He works so hard. He is the hardest working man I know. So I'm hoping, he's got a few appointments next week. I'm hoping that after his ablation, his heart ablation, which is on the 21st, I'm hoping after that, he and I can get away for a little bit. But then will be time to get chickens back. So who knows if we're going to get to or not. But anyway, while I'm waiting on him, I'm enjoying one of my favorite new little snacks. Um, pepperonis that I put in the air fryer and crisp up till they're like I like the crunchy pepperonis off of a pizza if they get like brown so I make them that way I stick them in the air fryer and I get them just like I like them and I slice me some good extra sharp cheese and I that's what I'm enjoying so all right so we'll wait for him to tell us what we're gonna do hello guys can you hear him crunching? Okay, so. I mean, pork skins. The, the viewers want to know, as do I, what are we going to do today? I got no idea. I'm going to do something different because I'm tired of working. <laughs> Did you tell them that? Yep. 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 I've had a, a long week. Quit crunching, honey. I'm sorry. Hang on. I've had a long week. I've had an injured week. I've hobbled around all week. I've got all my chores done. Uh, Easton's just finished mowing the yard. Easton's a high school young man that works with us. Um, hey, here's Easton right here. He's in the back. Way better, Easton. Nice to meet y'all. The light probably is right. glaring on So uh, Easton goes to church with us. He helps us out on the room some. And so it's about noon on Saturday. I want to go to the beach, but I can't go to the beach because I got to preach tomorrow. Okay. And we got tonight, we're carrying our youth pastor supper. 
because he had a surgery yesterday. So at six o'clock, we're going to his house. So I can't go to the beach. So I've got five and a half hours to do something. And she wants to go shopping. I don't want to go shopping. I want to go swimming. I want to go to the lake. I want to do something I don't normally get to do. So I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll update you tomorrow on yep. what happens. So okay? stay so tuned because tomorrow, I'm going to end this video now. Tomorrow on the weekend recap, we'll tell you what we did. <laughs> so stay tuned. It may be romantic. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. I, I may need to go shopping. <laughs> it, it, may, it may just be uh, going to the store getting a soda, but we're going to do something. We're going to do something. Even if it's wrong. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Bye All guys. right, so stay tuned. Tomorrow you will find out, as I will find out, what we're going to do in just a little bit. So he's going to run him home, and he's going to keep crunching. These are the bomb. These pork rinds. He likes them because they have the hard little crackling pieces in them. And they got a little soft piece in them too. A, you get this normal pork skins, but then every now and then you'll get a hard piece that's got the crackling on it. So, Okay, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to watch tomorrow to find out what we do. Who knows? All right, thanks for watching. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.